What's up, everybody? I'm Michael Hurdle from Raw Gameplay, where the only thing we like raw is our video gameplay. And today we're going to talk about the great Dante's Inferno. Have it for the Xbox 360, and we would love to get it in. We got my man Sean here. He's a partner. What's up, man? Tell him who you are, man. I'm Sean G, partner in the back, mm -hmm. as you and, all know. And now he's in the front now. Yeah, now I'm in the front. Yeah. And this is Sean Francis. That's right. Wait, yo, you know what? Where's Corey? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Corey went shopping. He went shopping. You know, it's Valentine's Day weekend. That's right. Know. Getting so, in. Yeah, he's getting in and trying to get those that nice gift. <laughs> so until Corey returns from his hiatus, I you know I saw I saw what he did. You know, I saw Corey was playing. He was he was sitting here earlier today because we was playing this game all day. Yes, he was. And he, oh, you know what? Let's not talk about that. We only got ten minutes <laughs> of YouTube, yes. man. Let's get straight to the point, man. We talk about Corey later. We will make fun of you later, Corey. Um, yo, Dante's Inferno, man. This game is serious. Yes, the game the, the game is great, but but uh -oh. <laughs> for you guys of war fans out there, you know. Yeah, some people say it's a God of War ripoff. What a, do you guys a, think? It's a ripoff. It, it, it's a one hundred percent ripoff. <laughs> I, and, you know, except for you know the storyline is a little bit different. Yeah, you know what? Because because uh, I know we I, I know I know I ended the game. I know you ended the game already. Yeah. What about you? Did you end the game? No, yet? I didn't end the game. Have we, yo, I, I just played the demo. That game will suck you in. So what? So we we ended the game. So we know the difference between the God of War knockoff and not. What do you what do you think? Well, I mean, this game this is to me is unique. I mean, the gameplay. You know, a lot of people gonna say you know it's from the copy from God of War, but to me the game the game is unique. I mean, get get more abilities from unholy and, mm -hmm. and the holy. You know what I mean? And you know, the more unholy you get, the more powerful from the unholy, which is the you know the, the like the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And the more holy you get, the more powerful your holy powers will get. So I mean, the game the the game is good. I mean, I just think it's unique. The story not is real good. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, from copying from God of War. I don't know if you got no comment on that, but the game is good, though. I mean, it's just unique in my option. What I like about the game is the fact about it is what you're doing, his storyline, just in case anybody didn't know what the game was. You're you're playing as Dante. You're the you're this character right here. You're getting different powers. You have to go through eight or nine circles, if I'm correct, of hell. That's why it's called Dante's Inferno, because Dante, his, uh, his beloved Beatrice, um, her soul, when she got killed, murdered, her soul got taken by Lucifer directly himself yeah. straight to hell. Yeah. He loved her so much that he... He dove into the pits of hell, of hell. to that's, follow, to, to save her soul. Yes, that's hell. You talk about hell. Hell. If you play yes. this game, it is hell. It's crazy, especially when you get to, I think, circle one or two when the babies was attacked. When the baby, when you, you I know. that's circle two. That circle two circle when, two. Your, when your own fetus, your own, you know, your own, own unborn child, when they was aborted, if I'm correct, yeah. started attacking you. Yes. And you had, I'm like, what? And this there's millions of babies. Millions, millions. Millions. And you sitting up there, you, you got a chop, you got different weaponry. First, you start off with a regular sword, but then afterwards, when you go into certain levels you get more armor you get more powers yeah. you can actually you also, take... you also get relics now yes, I mean, you that's get right for relics you know to do you know power certain stuff like this you get this relic for you know you, the more holy you do mm -hmm. the more pop you know powers you, you, you get like you know similar to that so you get relics and you get more Basically, more powers, and you know he can save soul. He has he has um, Beatrice's cross. Yes, and Beatrice's cross, cross can actually save your soul, yes. or actually, well, I'm not gonna make it a spoiler because we don't want to spoil it yeah, for the people that don't, didn't don't see the it. ending. But the uh, the game is definitely the shiznit. Yes, my man Sean in the middle, man. What you guys say, bro? Well, you know, <laughs> he said, well, I, um, I, I played the demo. The game is nice. The visuals, the visuals is great. Visuals are hot, as you can see right now. Yes. Yes. you know, considering that Guards of War one and two was a second gen game. But, you know, Tree, Tree looks incredible. And I saw um, God of War for, sec uh, for the PS2. Remember you put it on last yes, week? Yes, yes. And I was like, damn, this game looks like it could be for the Xbox 360, son. The game looked great. Yeah, the, the game looked real You know, but Dante's the Fortnite, the, the, like I said, the storyline is different. It's, it's action-packed. You know, action pack is serious. Yeah, because I, I know a lot of you guys of War fans probably gonna hate it. Yeah, they're gonna know? probably hate on it because people say like, oh, you know, because it's biting off for God of War. I'll wait till God of War come out. Yeah, but the game, the gameplay is good. You know, they they push the game out so it, it comes up before God of War. Mm -hmm. That ain't smart. Yeah, they you were know. smart. Dude, I spoke to Huey the other day. He said there's an actual DVD, a cartoon of Dante's Inferno. Yes, yes. He there said is. you will have more fun if you buy the DVD. And look at the DVD first, and then play Dante's Inferno yes, the game. Yes, it is. What, and and that's correct. Yes, watch the movie first, then play the game. And and I, you know, I saw the, I saw the end of the movie, and 
if you watch the movie, it seems like when you watch the movie, it's, it, you be playing the game yeah. because the movie is just like the game. Exactly Basically. like the game. You look at the exactly. movie, it's like, it's like you, you don't, yo, at, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you watch the movie, you wouldn't even have to play the game because you know what the story is. Man, you could you could have a controller while you're watching the movie and play the game. <laughs> That's how, I mean, the game, the movie is exactly like the game. So it, It's a cartoon that just so let you guys know it's not really like an actual. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an anime. Car, but it's anime. But anime. It's, Nice. Yeah. So if you wanna, you know, take a little sneak preview of how the game's gonna mm-hmm. be or how the storyline is gonna be, get the movie because the movie is just like the game. I Trust wish, me. I wish I could spoil the ending for you, but you know, the game I would say about as far as gameplay goes, the gameplay is great. The visuals are nice. Um, you know, you, oh, there's a lot. This game is not for children. Yeah, yeah definitely, not for definitely, children. Not for children. definitely not for children. Definitely not for children. It got breasts yes. in it, and it got. Hey, yo, the, I, I'm gonna make a little spoiler. When you went to the, um, when you went to the circle of lust. Yes. And the, they got, and, they got, you know, so. Some girls with some nasty stuff under their pants and they vaginas. <laughs> the vaginas yes. be attacking you. Oh, yes. Yo, yo, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yes, dudes, yo, go in there, yo. You, dude, beautiful girls, just like reality. Beautiful yes. girls, and they got bad vaginas. Yes, bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why they still always use protection. Maria, no, not, not, but not in, a, not in that circle of love because shoot, that yo, the vaginas had teeth. <laughs> But but the game but the game is good. <laughs> oh the, the, man. the game is good. It's definitely not for children. Action pack, and the game is replay is replayable. The replay value is definitely good. They man. got this mode called um, Resurrection mode mm-hmm. that you could actually play the game over and have all your powers mm-hmm. still. D- so if different you wanna, armors. So you know how Xbox got their achievements for certain stuff. So right. if you want to get achievements. For certain stuff, you could always go back and get the achievements after you beat the game. And also, when you beat the game, they got this mode called, um, I think it's called Eight Eight Gates of Hell. Mm-hmm. It's like it's, it's it's like a way. It's like all right, you, if you ever play God's Gears of War, it's something like that. Or, or horror mode where, where you would fight other people fighting the monsters or whatever. It's just like that. You know what I mean? It's just like you just gotta go do sixty. I think it's yeah sixty, mm-hmm. and you get also get achievement for that. So I would say the gameplay is about five to eight hours yeah, worth of yeah. game. So it's kind of short for you know for like guys like us who want more. Yeah. You can you can probably end this game in one day. Yeah. As far as renting it, buying it, or forgetting about it, I well, let, I let you go. What do you what do you? Th- well, it depends. If you if you want if you think it, it depends on you. If you think this game is if you're not too sure this game is like a copy of God God of War. Ran it to see how it is first, but you know that's 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 just for, for your opinions or whatever. What about what, you, what Sean? You I said buy it. You, you say, know, it, it will hold you over till God's War get here. I would definitely say buy it too because yo, this game is is action. It's, it's definitely a button button masher. You, you're gonna be swing. Wah, 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 yeah. wah, wah, yes, wah, yes. Wah, wah, yes. So you know, it's like oh, it's a button masher, but you know what? I liked it. All right, sometimes I need a little button mashing. All right, so that you heard it from us here. All right, guys, just real quick before we go. Uh, Raw Gameplay in Ohms is having our Street Fighter 4 tournament February 19th. That's a Friday. Come on out there. Cash prizes are available. Over 46 people showed up for the last event and signed up. It was crazy. I mean, we had a bunch of great players from the New, from New York area and New Jersey area and all over. So definitely come out. Go For more information, go to rawgameplay.com and uh, find out more about Monthly Beatdown X hosted by Raw Gameplay and Ohms, of course. You know, definitely got to say that. Moving on. Uh, King of the Couch, or Rod Lane, or NJ Halo, as we call him. Oh, yeah. That, that, we're going to get to that right there in a minute. They're having uh, Destroyer 2010. It's the day after the eSpot. So you know that we're going to be real busy that weekend. But you know what? It's all for the love of the games. Yeah. Um, we'd like to thank Rod. I mean, oh, let me just say, um, Destroyer 2012, I mean, 2010 is on a Saturday. Uh, go to, of course, rawgameplay.com. You'll see the link on the screen right there. Cash prizes are available. Win over five thousand dollars in prizes. We like to say, Rod Lane, thank uh, for Evil Controller sending us this Evil Controller. Definitely, if you guys want to have a nice controller, yes. Evil Controller right there, man. Pick it up. It looks real nice and, too, man. And you get a chance to win one of these controllers if you go to our website and click on the Destroyer link, and it'll you'll fill out the form when you register at Destroyer and on in, in uh, Velocity 17 in New Jersey. You bring that along with you when you register, and you are automatically registered to win one of these controllers for free because you were watching raw gameplay bro all right did i say everything did i say everything i miss anything i mean no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you, you you got it right you got it right good we got 18 seconds left on the clock remember guys raw gameplay is your number one source for video game news podcast video gameplay information from a whole bunch of regular guys yes. Corey, where the hell are you at? you better come back bro <laughs> you better stop playing stop shopping and make, Yo. and make sure you go on this website if you're a true gamer you this is your website right here 
Talk to you guys later.